Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here, and I just have something interesting to talk about. And it's the future of 360 degree video and virtual reality and how it works with uh, compared to everything that's out today. I was recently at a technology press sporting event in New York City, and Panasonic came out with something and they announced something-ish that I think would change the future and the quality of how this stuff is produced. Now, if you've been watching my channel, uh, I've made videos where I said maybe 360 video is just kind of overrated, which to an extent it really is. You really gotta make a use for it. And the quality you usually get out of it, even though you have 4K, is typically not that good and it's pretty guff. But Panasonic has this Concept360 camera. Now, uh, there's no pictures of it. I wasn't allowed to take any videos and photos. I made a horrible artist rendering of it that I'll obviously show you here. But I just wanted to talk about what it could do and what it can provide for something like this. Once again, I'm not being sponsored by Panasonic or anything. This is just an interesting talking point about the future of it. Now, this model they have right here, they call it the Panasonic Concept 360 VR camera. I know, real original. But that's obviously just a pre-production thing, and there's really only a couple models of it. And essentially what it is, it's not something that's going to be action-based. Like, a lot of these are out there. They're small, they're very portable, and everything like that. This is essentially going to have a little bit of a base mount at the bottom. You're going to have a stem to run some wires and everything. And then you're going to have a bigger unit up top. It almost looks like... Uh, like a microphone connected to a base to an extent, a bigger microphone. And I don't know if you can see this right here, but it, it's gonna have the base where a lot of the connectors are, it's gonna run up, and it's gonna have this really kind of square thing up top. And you're gonna have this little puck thing up top which has four cameras in it. And the also part about this is yes, the cameras act as four different elements, but within the base down at the bottom, it's gonna actually synchronize everything to be one setting as it is. So you don't have to really worry about rendering, at, you know, outputting it later on. You could get everything right there. And the also part about that compared to pretty much what's on the market right now is usually you'll have these like four, six, 16 uh, cameras, especially like GoPros on these rigs, but they all act as individual files and, and they don't really stitch together well because if one exposure is off on one, one is off on another, Another, this is something different. This is something where all four pretty much synchronized together uh, at the exact same time. So it has synchronized stitching, apparently, uh, you know, which is a great as well. And there's very, very low latency on playback. For some of the options, I saw that they were using the iPad and everything. And one of the ways you can really judge good, like VR and 360 video is if you look straight up, if you see any kind of the stitching up top and if you see kind of any lines, and if you look straight down. Straight down is probably one of the most accurate ways to represent that. But I looked straight down, they were going through like Italy and the, and the canals and everything, and I was looking straight down, and I did not see like where this was. This is something very different, and they even had it on a bigger screen as well, and the 4K quality that it had was very, very phenomenal, uh, so it was great. But they're, 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 they're saying that it's going to be a mid-range to a higher affordability. They're going to try and hit the consumer market with that, but it's going to be for something more uh, than what you need. It's going to, you know, it's going to look POV. It's going to have all that kind of stuff, but it's just not going to be very, very portable because of the size and for uh, what it is. But it's very clean. It's going to have USB power and, uh, you know, and it really just solves a lot of issues, especially that it can really kind of do built-in live streaming that can go to like Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, uh, I even think they said YouTube, and you can remotely live, uh, you know, connect to it with a smart device, phone or tablet. Just really overall, it's gonna have a lot of versatility for what it is, and it's just gonna be something different. And it, you, it, they're also saying that uh, you can mount it by hand, you can pretty much take it off the base, and you can use it to walk around, so I guess that's your action part of it. But once again, it's a big unit, it's not something small, typically what we're used to with a lot of these right here. And they're saying that they're gonna develop some kind of um, drone mount that you could put it up on like maybe a DJI, a 3DR or something like that. But uh, it's just interesting of what this was because of uh, what it is and how the technology works with it. So, uh, you know, the Panasonic concept camera, once again, I, I couldn't really show you unfortunately, but for what it is and the discussion of the future of tech, is this something you would think would be interesting or something useful as well? This is a very different way than you've seen a lot of this in the field as we speak right now. So do you think this is something kind of cool? Do you think Panasonic should really kind of pursue more of this and essentially develop this? Like, what if this cost about 600 to a thousand dollars? Is that something worth it to you? There's a lot of things out there that don't even see 360 that cost five to 600 alone as it is. And that even may be just for one of the 360 cameras. Let me know what you think down below. It does this seem pretty cool. It does it seem interesting for, I guess, something in the future, but especially the, the live streaming, synchronizing coding and everything through the four cameras. Is this something of interest? Let me know your thoughts. I just think that from what I saw with this getting a little bit hands-on, it answered a lot of my questions about the quality of 360 and VR going forward. It could be fully immersive, 
but it's just something that I think could be, um, you know, really awesome. This might be a really good 360 camera Panasonic. Hopefully we see something like this going forward. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a quick like, share this video, and also tell me down below if this is something pretty cool for you.